the, the animal science department is one of the largest departments in our college. So we have more than 600 undergraduates in that program, about 60 grad students, uh, 35 faculty members. So uh, from our standpoint, it's certainly a, a large department. It serves a, a very, very important industry in this state. This new agricultural and life sciences building is intended to be a replacement for that, uh, that wing of Lilly that so many of our alumni know well where the animal science department's been housed for many years. Currently our faculty are housed in three separate buildings and that challenges us when it comes to interacting, bringing new ideas into different programs, across programs, uh, to, to provide multidisciplinary research to, to very complex problems. The ability to, to walk to the next office when an idea comes about, to um, cross somebody, meet somebody in a hallway that you otherwise would not have it at a time, a very critical time when ideas are being generated. And in fact, our students as well are, uh, are not receiving the full benefit of the faculty because they're primarily in one building and two thirds of our faculty are in another building. I think the good news is that um, we're literally busting at the seams. I really see that uh, this future building could really be an asset and when you've got a department this big with this many students and the kids are literally lined up down the hallway with their legs sticking out in the hallway with no place to go. Um, I think that's a shame and I'd really like to see uh, a facility, a place, a location for the students to come together where they can study, get on the computer, uh, get help for their classes uh, and be encouraged. And I see all that helping retention. I think one of the, the big trends that we see in research now and, and for the foreseeable future is instead of individual researchers trying to do everything, there's really a big push for these uh, multidisciplinary teams where you're bringing in a group of researchers which, which bring in a lot more expertise than if it's one lab trying to tackle the problem. And a new building for us would really help facilitate pulling those teams together because it would get us in a central location. The Purdue's animal science department is always focused on is a lot of the, the, the great dollars and cents research that uh, helps a producer's uh, bottom line. Uh, we've uh, you know, seen uh, cutting edge work with new uh, feed additives uh, at Purdue and, and ways to improve the feed to gain ratio on our, on our animals. Uh, then there's a lot of things that uh, are kind of intangible or may not uh, at first glance be seen how they apply to the bottom line as far as uh, you know, improving uh, the environmental stewardship that pork producers have and also uh, working with uh, food safety and new product development on, on kind of the back end of the animals that we produce. I don't know if you've seen our laboratories but um, uh, they, they need help. And so I think uh, an important uh, part of the research end, uh, both for faculty and graduate students, uh, would be um, with that new building, they're going to have new facilities uh, that are state-of-the-art, that the faculty can be proud of, that can do cutting-edge research, and bring in top-notch graduate students uh, to work in their labs. Long term, um, Purdue has got a, a real focus on the life sciences and uh, that's been articulated in the campus master plan and uh, the site of campus that so many know as the ag campus is, is changing and it's going to be serving the broader life sciences long term and of course life science is what this uh, certainly a fundamental part of our college of agriculture. The animal industries in Indiana are, are a very significant economic driver for the state. It's about a six billion dollar industry altogether. Uh, animal livestock in, in fact comprise about 1.2 billion in inventory for the state. Fundamentally livestock production is important to this state and I think uh, this facility has a particular role in that whole investment strategy for the life sciences more broadly. Again, part of its support for animal agriculture and again the science uh, that, that underlies that, the preparation of students uh, to enter the, the, uh, the industries, but a part of it's the human health piece as well. Again, animals as model systems is, is a fundamental part of medical research and many of our researchers involved in animal sciences, their work spans both food animal production and human health. And so as we look forward in the state and think about, again, investments that are going to help support this broad area of life sciences, this facility I think fits very, very nicely into that, uh, that investment strategy. There are enough pigs produced in the state of Indiana to feed 
25 million people uh, here at home and, and abroad. Uh, last year, the, the U.S. exported about uh, one out of uh, every four or every five animals uh, produced. So the research that we would be doing in, in the new facilities here don't just have an impact uh, here at home, but also have you know, an impact abroad, uh, as that's you know, dollars that flow back to Indiana. Here in the state of Indiana, we have over 300 meat processors. Many of them are small to mid-size, and it's really a growing industry, where in other states it seems to be declining. Um, so we really do see a large desire for outcoming graduates that have meat cutting experience and meat science experience, but I just can't train as many as the demand is for due to our facilities. Animal agriculture is important to the state of Indiana. And this investment is clearly an investment in animal agriculture, whether we're talking about supporting research in animal agriculture, whether we're talking about helping prepare students for careers in that area, whether we're talking about extension and outreach that serves the state directly. There's clearly other dimensions of the project, but I think that may be mo the most fundamental message that we could put out there.